Welcome back everybody to another amazing opening on the channel and we got today something very special and we have not done many openings that have been other than Shining Fates and various real openings such as the mystery box and if you haven't seen that I recommend you go watch that but we ended up finding something at the store and I decided to open it and I cannot explain how happy I am to get back to y'all and have another great opening. I have been working on trying to set up live streaming, and I've really, really wanted to do that ever since the channel started having growth, and this has been a really big dream of mine. So I cannot wait to get in some openings with everybody else, and I want to be able to open more whenever the new sets come out. And right now, it seems very big on the celebration stuff, so I can't wait to get some of that and open that. And let's go ahead and get to the opening. So thank you guys so much for 15 subs, and just hopefully that can, channel growth continues. I personally have seen quite a few openings of these in the past week or two. You know, I've been watching a lot of other channels, seeing how they react. You know, seeing the polls that have come out of this. I've opened one of these before. But it has been a while, almost, actually, probably whenever this was within two weeks of being brand new, I actually got one of these. So, you know, being able to open another one, but in front of all of you guys makes me so happy. I cannot explain the joy every single time I open something in front of y'all. So, that's something that I really enjoy. A really nice promo card. You get the white code card behind it. I mean, I can't even say enough about how good this box has been before. I mean, it, it's a beautiful card. I've always loved Alakazam. I mean, Alakazam probably ain't even my top three favorite Pokemon, but I just, for some reason, really enjoy the art of the three cards. I don't know why, but, you know, it's been amazing opening some of these in front of all you guys. We've got the large card. I really like that. I've got another one of these in my binder, but it's got some bad creases. I mean, they always do for big cards, you know. It's, it's weird looking at some of these cards and some of the big cards compared to the little cards, but, you know, it's it's been a, it's been a long road to get here, and I can't wait to open some more. Um, And this is actually surprising. I don't think the last one I opened had this, these four packs. But I am very unfamiliar with these packs. And we've got ourselves a Battle Styles Emporion. One of my favorite Pokemon. Back whenever I was opening Water Type, and I love Water Type. Nowadays I get to more of like the Physic, Psychic, as other people call it. But we got Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage is actually quite a rare set now compared to whenever it first came out. You can find it at GameStops all over the place. Very cool. Um, Darkness of Blaze. Not a set I'm very familiar with, but I can't wait to open it. It's been a really fun opening. All these different variations of packs. Rebels Clash. There you know, I just go into some of these as like local car trading shops, and you've got them with binders from every single set, and you've got them with almost full sets of every single set. And you're just like, how? And then you just get to open five, you, you'll be most likely be able to open maybe an ETB at most. Like, I mean at most. I, I think that we should say, save the Darkness of Blaze for laugh, last. I've always had an interest in the set. And I think since Battle Styles is the newest, we're gonna do Battle Styles first. And then let's do Rebels Clash next. You know, I, I personally really like to pick out my packs. You know, I, I really like just being able to look at arts and look at the sets. And I really just really like to pick and choose. Now, that pack went open really easy. So, it definitely gives me some hope. You know, I'm trying to stay a lot more hype than what I usually am opening Pokemon. Whenever I'm trying to open in front of the camera, I've... Kind of struggled with it, I think, honestly. But, you know, hopefully this video can change it. Because I want to see height. I want to see 
subscriber count go up. Let's go ahead and get this channel to 20 subscribers. You hear me, guys? 20 subscribers by the time of the next video. And if we can, I will try and do live streaming that ev Evolving Skies box that we ended up getting. So if you can go and get, by let's say next Sunday. Okay, guys? So I want to go ahead and see that 20 subs by Sunday in the comments. Okay? Here's the code card. Um, it, it's, it's been a roller coaster so far during this channel. All right, let's go ahead and do one, two, three. And let's go ahead and get back with the energy guessing game. And if I do end up forgetting this at any video, I will be quite disappointed in myself because this is one thing I always strive to do. And this is one thing that I do before videos, and I'm like, I've got to do this. It's something so, so, so amazing and fun that my viewers can participate in. You know, in live chat is whenever I can't wait to do it. Because I will literally sit there before a pack opening, and I will say, I will say, what do y'all think it is? Like, I will wait there until people actually answer, because I really find this fun to do with chat. And let's go ahead and get some leaf energy. We got ourselves a fire. It's one of the basic types, so you know, pretty cool. And this card could be right here. Could be many different cards because I'm not very familiar. I'm pretty sure that you can get a, a rainbow rare, but I know there's many, many cool cards in this set, and I just don't have very. I'm not very familiar with this set. I've opened maybe three, four packs of Battle Styles, so I cannot. Strive how much I really badly want to open some more of these. And let's go ahead and get into it. We got ourselves a Spupa. Sorry if I can't pronounce these very well. I'm not. And I mean completely unfamiliar with this set. So we got a Spupa. A Yearn of Vitality. Single strike card. We got a Bufflin. Bufflin. That's really weird and cool. And we got a a blip a blip pug. That that looks like kind of like a a worm from many different movies. Really really cool though. We got a frillish, a card that I'm very familiar with in Pokemon Go and many other games and movies. And we got a Cubone. Well, I love how he's sitting there trying to eat his bone. We got a, a Zubat. Kind of looks like the, um, kind of looks like Legos, almost like the Snorlax that I am, I have already currently built, waiting for the stream. Hint, hint. <laughs> Can't wait to show that to you guys. We got a, a Sparrow. Really like the art as well. Kind of like pixel art with the houses in the background. We're getting really close to the reverse. Let's go ahead and leave some hype in the chat and the comments. And we got a, a Corfish. Corfish Reverse. Really cool card. I, I like the way that it looks. Like, it's not in the water environment that it usually is. We've got a... And a Vivaloon. Vivalian. Regular Rare. Kind of looks like a butterfly. Really cool card. Go ahead and get into that Rebel Pack, Rebel Clash. This one, the one card that I'm familiar with in the set is Ball Toy, and I don't even know if that's from another set. I just really like it. I know that it's one of the sets that has Galarian cards. It's it's definitely a set that I've opened more than um some of the newer sets, but I mean it's still a set that I am quite unfamiliar with, considering most YouTubers. Open 10, 20, 30. I mean, they'll open crap ton of these packs. So, you get ourselves a code card. We get ourselves a one, two, three. I'm hoping that this one's four. Because, you know, you open so much you don't really remember. And that is a leaf energy. I didn't really guess on that one. But I probably would have said psychic. For some reason, I really like leaf energies and psychic energies whenever it comes to guessing. I did start off with a lot more dark types. But, you know, hopefully this is something really good right here. 
They got ourselves a Dark Oak. That's a really cool card. Looks like two or three Pokemon on it at once. So, that's cool. We got a Tranquil. Another really cool art. We've got a Sonia. A Sonia supporter. We've got a... A Galarian Mr. Mime. Kind of looks cool. I like Mr. Mime. You know, I'm not familiar with the Galarian version, but that still looks really cool. We got a Snover. Doesn't know where he's going. We've got a Pid Pidov. Really cool car. Looks like there's multiple of them. We've got a, a Galarian Darumaka. I've seen this card. It just I know most people call it like Snowman. So let's just go with it. I think this might be a reverse card. We've got a Hatina. Not a reverse, but you know. I'm pretty sure most people call this a curly hair. You know, I'm not, like if y'all in the chat, whenever we do get to live stream, want to call certain Pokemon certain things, I'd be glad to carry them on. Because I just ain't going to go out and start saying things that I don't know if those are valid or what everyone thinks about it. But, you know, let's go ahead and get into the next card. I think this should be the reverse. Let's go ahead and leave some likes and subscriptions. Go ahead and comment down below. We'll hike in the timestamp of this time. And let's go ahead and see what it is. And we got a tool scrapper reverse. I don't have any item reverse of the... I don't think I have an item reverse in this set. So, you know, pretty cool card. And for the regular rare. Hopefully not a regular rare, but for the rare. We got a, a greeting regular rare. My luck re recently has not been very good. But, you know, it's, I can't help from being hyped, being around all the, all of you guys, being, being able to have a channel in general, and being able to see it grow somewhat, has really encouraged me to keep opening, even though sometimes, you know, it looks like sometimes your luck just sucks. But, you know, just to be able to open, I know some people are just struggling to even get Pokemon, so for me to even just open a pack it's very cool considering i grew up with pokemon you know i'm not like them scalpers or anyone trying to just go grab them and resell them like i genuinely like to enjoy it i'm not saying that i don't have a collection myself like that's saying some of the bigger youtubers aren't allowed to have a collection because they're supposed to open everything they get i mean i have definitely a very quite a bit of a small collection but i mean I really, really can't wait to get into it with you guys. Code card. I like the very, the veriness of all of them code cards. I like how they aren't the same first numbers or first three numbers or letters. It, it's cool. I definitely like the way that it works. Like you can't just guess a random code and hope that it works. But let's go ahead. We got ourselves a one, a two. A three. I mean, we got ourselves a vivid voltage energy and an and an honor of it being vivid voltage electricity. We're gonna go ahead and guess an electric energy. We got ourselves a water type. Pretty much the exact opposite of electric to energy. So <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. But you know, we could end up getting the fat Pikachu or maybe the the secret rare in this set. So let's go ahead and hope that it is that card. Because that would definitely make it for the last two packs, for dang sure. We got ourselves a Nuzleaf. Running from somebody. We got ourselves a Memory Capsule. Looks like a little rainbow DNA type thing. Pretty cool. We got ourselves a Giraffe Ga Rig. Really cool. Two-headed yeah, two Giraffe. We got ourselves an Electric. Couldn't be a bit of voltage without an Electric Pokemon. And we got a Cleave Fairy. One of my definitely my favorite psychic types. And we got our Salsa Fanpy. Elephant with a little Tedarusa. If yeah, that's how you say it. I mean, I'm very bad with Pokemon names. I sit there and I play Pokemon cards all day. You know, we hang, like me and my family, we come up with a name for a Pokemon and we stick to it. 
You're in a video, you want to change it. You just don't because it's just how it works in a family. You've called it that for many years and that's how you're going to say it. Like for phys physic, for example, I know that it is psychic. I just really am used to saying physic. Well, let's go ahead and get to the next card. The next card is a... A Yanma. It's got a little sparkles going around it. Almost like a shiny in Pokemon Go. Sadly, um, I don't have one of those in Pokemon Go. <laughs> and I think this might be a reverse. Maybe one more card. We got a... A Galarian Mouth. I guess he's riding a wave with a rope. Um, very... Far out there of um art. Very cool though. And for the reverse, we've got a Exadrill. Really, really cool card. Almost don't know what you're going on in that card for about the first two seconds, and then you realize he's digging a hole. But um really really cool card. And for the rare, we've got a a Yonmega regular rare. I don't even know what to say about these past three facts. I mean, this is supposed to be a set, especially Vivid Voltage that has had really high pull rates. So, <laughs> I am, this is definitely by my, the set that I want to pay off the most. Even though probably Vivid Voltage probably has the highest price point, I really badly want this set to pay off because this is a set that I've liked. I'm pretty sure this is a Senta Scorch, if I'm not mistaken, on the front. And another really easy open pack. I'm really, 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 really hoping that this pays off. You know, it's not all that bad if it doesn't. You know, just opening in front of you guys is a well worth every single card in the world. I mean, I just love this so much. We got ourselves a code card. And it is a, a black one. I've had so many whites recently that I honestly thought that some, that some, that, that for some reason that maybe the blacks were becoming more rare than the white ones were. The white ones supposed to mean good luck. But you know, eh, beggars can't be choosers. So let's go ahead and. A one, a two, and a three. Now let's go ahead. We got the three basic types so far. We've got a fire, a grass, and a water. All three. So we're gonna go ahead and get, go with the next basic type, which is gone, which is electric. But I feel like it ain't gonna be electric. I just have a staticky feeling that it's going to be a dark type and psychic. I almost thought about guessing it, but you know. Hopefully you guys in the comments got it right. Go ahead and leave that down below. We've got a Simpor. The first card I ever got was a was the grass type of this of these monkeys. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I know its attack was Seed Ball. Very first card I ever ever got. You know, still to this day, I have it. Oh, there we go, right there. The Simisage, and it is a Pansage. That was my first Pokemon ever. You know, it wasn't, I, I doubt it's from this set, but it was also a reverse. So there's some background information on my first Pokemon ever. Just in case anyone wanted to know. We've got ourselves a, a rare fossil. Pretty cool. You know, it's definitely a little far out there. I'm going to say HP 70. You usually don't say, see those on trainers. So that's really cool. We got our salsa. A Skarmory. I know I saw that whenever the pack opened. But still it hits it just as hard whenever you open it the second time. If you really don't focus on that card. Which I wasn't. I was more focused on talking to you guys and having fun. So we got our salsa. A Starly. Cool card. Another cool art. This time it's alone. Maybe diving in for some worms or some food. We got ourselves a... A Torchic. Looks like he's dancing. 
Kind of looks like a cartoon. Next card. We had a soul song. A Marini. Um, the Coral. Coralie? I don't remember what the name of the Pokemon is. But I know that it is another Pokemon in the background. Kind of looks something like, um, the Little Mermaid type scene. I don't know why I related to that, but, you know. We got ourselves a Clink. A card that has really been a troll for me as far as playing games. But it's a really cool card. We got ourselves a... And, uh... Ampharos Reverse. Now, this is definitely a reverse I will be very, very proud of that I pulled. Because this has definitely been a reverse that I've... Why? I really like this card. I know there's Mega Ampharoses in games. So, you know, it's a cool reverse to pull. And we got ourselves... Let's go. Leave a like down below if you really, really believe that this is going to be a real rare. We've got to hit one out of four packs. We've got ourselves... And a Town Flame regular rare. Um, is yeah, Town Flame was probably my first favorite Pokemon until maybe 2017. Whenever I started to get into really like actual opening, to, until whenever I got really into just trading and a lot more into the, the sport of it. I really like this card though, so I'm not going to go down in vain. Well, you know, you go ahead and you look at all the things that we've pulled today and you say, for all the fun that you've had watching this and for all the fun that I've had recording this, is this really worth it? You think you might have spent some money on buying the pack. Sure, you didn't get your money's worth of it, but did you really get your money back in time and what you spent and how fun it was to record? I would say the answer is yes. And go ahead and if you did, Go ahead and say, yes, I did, in the comments. And leave it in quotation marks. And I hope you guys have had a very amazing, wonderful opening. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.